to review MCAT practice tests. Congratulations! If you're here watching this video, you've probably just finished an MCAT practice test, and that's a big deal. But after those grueling seven-ish hours you just spent testing, reviewing should be a snap, right? Not exactly. Reviewing a practice test is not just about checking answers. It's a psychological battle against your own biases. Oh yeah, it is that deep. Ready to dive into this rabbit hole? Let's go. The number one thing you need to remember is that reviewing tests isn't about dwelling on your mistakes. It's like digging for hidden treasure. It reveals your mistakes, enlightens you about missed details, and unveils the MCAT's cryptic structure. But a word of caution about statistical analysis. Don't rush to change your whole strategy based on a few wrong answers. Trust us, it's not that simple. To get the most out of your review, we recommend you break your review into stages like so. Number one, a light review where you focus on your wrong answers, dissect what happened, and write explanations in your lessons learned journal. Pro tip, if you don't have one, use a spreadsheet. If you're a Blueprint student, you already have one in the platform. Number two, a light review where you focus on flagged answers. Even if you got it right, if you flagged it, review it. Luck may not be on your side next time. Number three, a moderate review where you focus on the passages that gave you trouble. And finally, you'll want to do an in-depth review where you categorize the passages into one of the three categories, informational, primary research, or lab manual. Then you summarize the passages and narrow down the topic. And then there's CARS, the unicorn of MCAT sections. Think of it like a detective story. What are the main arguments? Is the author's perspective clear? Any contrasting viewpoints? Evidence anyone? How would you respond? And if you had to write two CARS questions of your own about this passage, what would they be? If this seems like a lot, it is. You might even want to break up your review into two days instead of trying to jam it all in one. Remember, it's not just about studying harder, it's about studying smarter. Practice tests are awesome for, well, practice and building your endurance, but your review is where you'll gain the most. If you want a free practice MCAT with built-in analytics and a lessons learned journal, check out the links in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more free MCAT advice.